Hey there. So thanks for joining me. Today we're going to go through a very short video on how to set up uh, reminders for your uh, guests or participants for your Zoom calls. So everyone, uh, it's very easy. Everyone's got a lot of calls coming up at the moment, uh, a lot of meetings and you don't want to miss them. And it's very easy for people to miss their calls potentially. And uh, it doesn't hurt to send them a reminder email or a reminder SMS if they're the ones, uh, especially if they're the ones that have scheduled the call with you and uh, you want to make sure that they don't forget. So you can have that sales call or you can have that consulting call or whatever it is you, you need to uh, follow up with your um, with your clients or maybe with your audience. So today we're going to do the, the sort of the quick answer for how to set this up, which is using uh, a, a tool or a website called uh, G Reminders. And, uh, and I hope to, in a follow-up video, uh, show you how you can sort of build your own maybe relatively uh, free, uh, close to free probably, um, answer to this as well, but it, it requires a little bit more work. But if you if you wanna just get it sorted out, uh, easy, quick as possible, then we're gonna try using this uh, G Reminders uh, service as well. So it costs a little bit, uh, not too much, and I think it's definitely worth it if you are uh, looking, uh, I mean, if you're making money from these calls and uh, and usually if you're doing sales or other things through Zoom, then it's probably worth, you know, $25 a month um, to invest in a, a little uh, reminder system. But uh, if you don't want to spend any money on it, then um, follow, uh, subscribe, and uh, probably in the next video or in sometime in the near future, I'll, I'll film some uh, sort of setup for how you can set it up for yourself. So anyway, let's jump in and uh, go through it. So the platform that the platform that uh, that I've found, which uh, a lot of people have, um, well, I've seen some people review and have said that it's quite quite useful and effective, is called G Reminders. So I'm going to go through it now and show you how to register. And um, I actually have no connection to this company at all, so um, it's just a genuine uh, setup, you know, to help other people uh, in solving this problem. For me personally, I would normally set it up with Zapier because that's my sort of area that I'm uh, most interested in. And um, and I use some other tools as well. So we'll go through them in another video, but this one's just a quick setup for G Reminders uh, if you just want to solve this issue right now and uh, get it all sorted out. So let's go into G Reminders. You can use it for Google Calendar and Outlook. I'm going to set it up with Google Calendar because I use uh, Google Suite um, for, uh, for all of my... Um, for my business and running running my business. So it's quite easy, we can jump straight in now. So we just click try it for free, sign in with Google, select your account. Okay, we're gonna allow those, we're gonna allow all of these permissions. Okay, so yeah, there's some permissions to be aware of here. And then we've got to go through and set up with our details. So I'm just going to leave these sort of default information. I'll put in my email address. So I'm going to just select the calendar that I want to schedule the meetings and send reminders from. So that's the main calendar there. What do I want to do with the reminders? So today we're just going to be reminding customers what type of reminders we want to do SMS and email. So we'll set up SMS first. So we're going to here we're going to add a template for uh, for what the we're looking for, what the G reminder system is looking for when it sends uh, when it's looking in the in your Google Calendar for what kind of email, uh, sorry for what scheduled meeting that you want to send an SMS for. So we're going to get it to look at all events. We can also get it to look at certain parts. Let's say we're going to set it up for event title. Whenever the event title contains the word, let's go with consulting call. But you'll need to think of something specific to your scenario. Contains the word equals exactly. Okay, we want to say contains the word, contains the text. Okay, let's see. SMS, let's aim to send the SMS five minutes. No, let's say 10 minutes before the call. 
Okay, and then here we can edit the content of the SMS. So we've got reminder you have an appointment with first name, last name, at event time, on event date, please reply yes to confirm. So rather than have that information, we're going to just include the, uh, the Zoom link. So let's see if we can do that here. So we've got the, the text for the Zoom link popped in there. Let me just delete all this. And instead we'll say, reminder you have an appointment with, so that's gonna be our name. Let's change that to company. My company name. And I'll get rid of my personal name. And then event time and event date. Click here to join. And then we'll add the Zoom link. There we go, simple like that. We can see here that each SMS credit is equal only includes 160 characters and this one now includes 130 so it'll just be one SMS but if we were to make this a bit longer and add more details then it might blow it might go through might be 170 characters let's say and it would end up taking up two SMSs and two credits and we have a limited number of credits in each account so we want to um, we want to be aware of that so we'll save that okay so only send reminders on events that I own yes let's do that and then we need to put a client, the client's phone number into the appointment on the Google Calendar. Anywhere in the title or description. Okay, so we'll do that. And then we're all set. So now we go to the dashboard and let's see what we set up. Okay, so no valid phone numbers now upcoming events. So let me go into the calendar and I'll go into this one that I set up for, as an example to show you guys. And here we have a call. So you could do this in any way you, you'd like to, you know, for the, for the, cause uh, the person you invite to this, let's say, let me just add in an invitation to, you know, to another email address of mine. And then we're going to add in to the description, the phone number. Let's say details. And then this is the client, so we'll just put this in here. And we'll add in the phone number. Okay, and then we'll save this, send the client the email for this meeting. And then now hopefully G Reminders is going to let us know they can find it. So let me just refresh this. There we go. So the magic of this platform, they've automatically pulled out the details that they need or that we need to send this SMS. So that's already set up. That's it. This one's ready to go tomorrow at 11.50 a.m., 10 minutes before the call. Now let's do the same for email. So... I've just gone to settings up here and now I'm going to templates and then under templates, I'm going to say add template. And in this case, it's the same reminder, all events, email. What do you say? What time period would be good for the email reminder? Probably 24 hours before just so that they have time to cancel maybe or reschedule if they need to. And then we've got the reminder here. So we've got the, the subject, email subject. So you want to add in a bit more detail. So you've got the reminder. I think we can add in variables here as well. So let's, let's add in the date. Maybe we can't, let me see. Reminder, let's go meeting reminder. with terrific tomorrow and we'll say with the time ok 
Okay. And then we've got the body of the email. So remind you have an appointment with name. We're going to replace that. Let's add in just the company. At the time, at the date, to confirm, reply yes, or go to event confirm link, or call phone number to reschedule. So you can obviously change this messaging as you like. I normally wouldn't have a call, have a number for them to call, but I mean, you're welcome to do that. Definitely, it's good to have a number and all these details here. And obviously you can edit this and change this as you like, and you can read here as well. You can add in uh, some HTML tags within the email as well. So for the sake of making this making this video not too long, we'll leave it like that and we save that detail. Now we can see we have these two and you can also add in additional reminders as well if you wanted to. So it's up to you and the, the amount you want to, you know, follow up with your, with your client for that. And uh, that's it. Well, let's leave that there for this video. And then uh, if you're interested, I can share a little bit more information about G reminders. Um, and then in the coming videos, I'll also uh, show you how you can set this up for yourself. Um, I guess one more thing to show you now as well is G reminders. There are, th there are a number of plans here. So there's a free plan, but it doesn't, it doesn't allow uh, SMS. There's the uh, 895, this is Australian dollars, but there's uh, you know, you can look at it up in, in your currency. The, uh, so, you know, that's like uh, $7, something like that, the US dollars, but you better check that. And then, um, and then the standard plan, you know, this is roughly maybe 25, a bit under 25 US dollars a month as well per user. And this one is the one that includes the SMS. So the standard plan, and then there's a pro plan as well for larger usage or even more plans as well. So you're all covered there, depending on what you want to do. And, um, you know, take advantage of a seven day trial. And then after that, you can decide if it's worth continuing. So let me know if you have any questions, really appreciate uh, any feedback you have, any, any uh, thoughts or concerns or issues uh, that I can help you with, uh, please let me know in the comments. And uh, I hope uh, hope to uh, do more of these videos to, to help. Okay, thank you so much. All the best. Cheers.